But for Zion Wade, the fact that nobody talks about him and nobody knows what's going on, it blows my mind. Like, you have to understand, we are talking about Dwayne Wade's son. Dwayne Wade, he's a freaking legend. Whoever is advising him in his basketball career, and I kind of believe it may be his dad, it's the wrong advice. With the NBA Summer League going on, I've been watching some of it because I wanted to see how the top players were doing like Paulo Banquero, Chet Holgram, Jabari Smith, and a couple other guys here and there. But yesterday, literally out of nowhere, I thought to myself, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. What happened to Zaire Wade? I know it's random, but I can't be the only person thinking this because I haven't heard a single thing out of this guy in a year or two. Actually, the last time I heard something about him was where last year in the G League, he averaged something like 1.8 points per game. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm kind of curious. Let me go pull up those stats real quick. Okay, pulled it up right here for you, and I was actually spot on. He averaged a whopping 1.8 points per game, 2.5 rebounds, and 1.3 assists. I mean, if you gotta ask me, these are some piss poor stats. He shot 26.7% from the overall field and 18.8% behind the three-point line. But that was forever ago, right? Ever since then, not only have I not heard a single thing about him, but I don't see anybody talking about this dude. And you would think since he's trying to get into the NBA, he would be playing in the summer league, right? Well, he's not. I was kind of curious, so I went on Twitter last night, and I saw a lot of other people, they're thinking the same thing as me. Why is he not playing, and where's he at? Here we have it once again, a very similar situation to Sharif O'Neal. We got a young man who is the son of an NBA legend, but maybe he's not all too good. We've done our fair share of talking about Sharif O'Neal on this channel, and y'all know how I feel about him. I don't think he's ready for the NBA, and... It's not that I don't think it, he's not. When your own father who played in the NBA so he knows what it takes says you shouldn't have went to the NBA, that should tell you everything you need to know. On the flip side for Mr. Zaire Wade, his dad Dwayne Wade, he's encouraged him every step. And in reality, come on now, let's just be honest, his dad is the main reason he even got a shot at the G League. Because for those of you that don't know, guess what G League team signed Zaire Wade? The team that Dwayne Wade partially owns. Coincidence? Hmm. I think not. It's just kind of funny when you look at it because what team is Sharif O'Neal playing for or trying to get a spot on? The Lakers, the team that Shaquille O'Neal mainly played for. This is going to be a very interesting video. We got a lot of digging and research to do, but real quick, on one of the previous videos, I said let's see how many new subscribers we can gain from that one, and I'll tell you in the next one, if we gained over 300. I really appreciate all the new subscribers, and I feel like sometimes I just have to remind you guys, so why not? Let's try to get on this video. Let's try to see how many subscribers we can gain off of this one, and I'll tell you the next next one there's a bunch of new people coming to the channel and there's also so many of you right now watching or you've been watching the videos and you're simply not subscribed it's free it doesn't hurt you and if you decide a week or two later you hate my videos you can always unsubscribe you're not in some crazy contract get you a snack get you some popcorn or your favorite meal you like to eat while you watch a video because trust me i do the same thing and now without further ado let's get into it all right all right research matt is in the building but I'm going to need your guys' help throughout this video as well. If you watched the video on Julian Newman we did, and I think I just titled it, Where is Julian Newman? This video is going to be similar because I have no idea what to expect. Like, this isn't a thing where I did a ton of my research before sitting down and filming this. I generally am going to find out this stuff when you guys do too. You're going to get my live reaction to every single thing we find out about Zaire Wade, and I'm just going to do my research along the way. I say that to say this. If you know anything about him, feel free to inform us in the comment section. First things first, I'm going to go to Twitter, and this is the first comment I see right here. Why isn't Zaire Wade playing in the Summer League? And then, of course, under that, some troll is going to comment because he sucks. Although you may think he sucks, and I can't deny that allegation, that's not some real evidence. We need to keep digging. I've been scrolling for a good 5-10 to 10 minutes, and all I see is people asking the same question. Where is Zaire Wade? So it's fairly obvious that nobody on Twitter has any idea what's going on. Hmm, that's kind of odd because I know Twitter has a lot of trolls like Ballsack Sports, but normally you'll at least hear something about a player if you do some research. I got a better idea. How about we go to the source himself? Let's go to Zaire's Instagram page. I haven't been there in at least a year or two. How about we start here from April 10th and work our way up and use some context clues and try to figure out what's going on. So in this picture right here, it's just him, you know, doing his thing. And he commented, I'm most hated, huh? But what you hate me for, question mark, hashtag isolated. I don't know if he's trolling because I don't know why anybody would hate him, but go off, I guess. Here's something a 
little more interesting. Right after that, it's a picture of him and his dad, and he's holding up the jersey. And in the comment section, he put, leave a legacy. Okay, nothing too crazy there. And then shortly after that, on May 5th, he posted his rookie season highlights, and I'm going to assume this video is about eight seconds long because you only average 1.8 points per game. What highlights are you talking about? That doesn't make too much sense to me, but oh, here we go, here we go. Every famous influencer does this, or we've seen it. He has started his own NFT collection. I don't have too much to say about that. You can form your own opinion about him and his NFT situation. I just, I don't like when influencers or whatever you want to call them, they do that stuff. We see it all the time where these famous people, they have this big following and they know they can abuse them. So what do they do? They go, oh yeah, I'm going to make my own NFT and they pump and dump it and you know how it goes. As far as what he's doing with this NFT collection, I don't know, not even going to look into it. Finally, on June 8th, he posted something about basketball and it's a little one minute video snippet of, I guess it's trying to be a who mixtape type of vibe, hype up his return or something, and it's him working out in a gym. And I gotta be honest, there's nothing about this workout that impresses me. Like, am I supposed to be impressed by this? Come on now. This guy's going up against dummies that are letting him score, and he's doing casual dribble moves and layups. And I hate to say that, because I even know it comes off as me trying to sound like a hater, but am I wrong? There's only two more pictures to go over on July 2nd, which was only about 10 days ago. It's a picture of him working out. Then recently on, yeah, three days ago, so that'd be July 9th, he posted what well, looks to be a promo for some app. The app is something to do with music or something, that's besides the point. He's getting the bag and I can't hate on that. Go get that money, my boy. I would say what I find the most odd about Zaire's situation is look how many followers he has. He has over 2 million followers, yet nobody talks about him. For example, the video we made on Julian Newman, he only has about 700, 800,000 followers, and everybody talks about him even to this day, and he's pretty much irrelevant. Or not irrelevant as of a person standpoint, but from a basketball standpoint. You get what I'm trying to say. But for Zaire Wade, the fact that nobody talks about him, and nobody knows what's going on, it blows my mind. Like, you have to understand, we are talking about Dwayne Wade's son. Dwayne Wade, he's a freaking legend. For example, look at Sharif O'Neal. Everybody's talking about him every single day. It's just weird to me, but let's do some more digging and research. I'm going to go to Google and type in Zyra Wade and see what we can find and what pops up. Once again, so strange to me, and I'm shocked by this, nothing pops up. The only thing that's been reported on him, and this was three weeks ago, is that he landed a workout with the Spurs, but it's just a workout. It's nothing crazy. I'm going to show you right here. Dwayne Wade, he posted on Instagram, and it was on June 20th when he had the workout with the Spurs. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is a great great question. Why didn't he go to college? Was he that bad in high school and just got to the G League because of his dad? I'm not talking about the second question in that tweet. I'm talking about the first one. Why didn't he go to college? When I tell you that mind boggles me, I don't even know if that does it justice. I remember keeping up and following up with his high school recruitment process, and some people regarded him as a three-star recruit, but most people, they only had him as a two-star. He didn't have a crap ton of offers coming out of high school, but he could have went to a D1 college and played, and I believe he was leaning towards going to South Carolina. I think it was South Carolina. If I'm wrong on that, let me know in the comment section. And here's the thing. Is Zyra Wade good enough to play in the NBA? Heck to the no. But is he good enough to go to a D1 college and be a six-man or even possibly be a guy who averages 15 points per game at college? Yes, of course. College and the NBA, it's two totally different things, and I think his best path would have been to go to college. Not only would college help him out in the long run, but he'd be playing and he'd be putting out some film. The thing that has hurt this dude the most is there is no film on him whatsoever. Remember, his senior year at Sierra Canyon, he didn't even play because of an injury, and him and Dwayne Wade, they got mad at the coaching staff. Zyre Wade not going to college, that was a huge, and let me emphasize this, a huge mistake. I just don't understand it. Somebody try to make it make sense to me. What is the point of skipping college just to go to the G League and barely even play an average two points per game, if that? I don't want to say this young man, he has a huge ego, because that wouldn't be fair to say. I don't know him personally, but I can tell you this, he's been given some terrible advice. Whoever is advising him in his basketball career, and I kind of believe it may be his dad, it's the wrong advice. This dude should have went to college for two, three, maybe possibly four years, and he potentially maybe, just maybe, could have got drafted. He would have had a chance. And worst case scenario, if he doesn't get drafted, he can go to the G League and he'll at least be ready. But for this dude to go straight from the high school to the G League, 
It was one of the worst mistakes you could have ever done. One of the worst mistakes you could have ever done. That doesn't make sense. I meant to say one of the worst mistakes you could have ever made. There's only one question I have left, and it's really the unanswered question of the video. Why isn't Zaire Way playing in the Summer League? We see right here, and I showed you guys, it looks like apparently he's still working out. So that's my biggest thing. If his main goal is to get to the NBA or perform better and get a shot at a roster spot or anything like that, why is he not playing? Unless I missed something, I haven't seen anything saying he's hurt. I don't know. I am very curious. If you know anything about this situation, let us know in the comment section. Please inform us. But, uh, what all of you say? I'm